Amen. Well done, Deaconess. Well done. Wow. Don't we give God praise tonight for this sermon? Um, a very, you take your seat, people of God. We want to thank God. First of all, we're going to pray over the speaker, and then I'm going to just give a couple of comments, and we are out of here. A suspicious pastor. I don't know how early I can send you out. Let's pray over our speaker. God, we do thank you. We thank you for your word. Such a rich reminder tonight. The main thing being the main thing. We thank you for the vessel that you have used on this night to encourage us and to also prompt us and caution us concerning why we have been called into the kingdom. Father, as all of us do, she also has those folks in heart and mind that she desires enter into the kingdom before this time turns into eternity. And we pray that indeed you would answer the prayers of her heart, for she has spoken your heart tonight. Cover our God, especially this week, as one who has given out from your living words your heart. Continue to bless and make her pathway plain and smooth. We thank you again for the messenger, our deaconess, Erlene De Silva, and the beautiful message. Now, God, keep us attuned to your heart that we would not only hear, but do and become that which you desire of us. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, and everyone says, amen. amen. A sober message, really. Because what has happened is that churches have become about church. See if you can get that. It's, it's become about a show, a competition, and really it ought to be about the word of God and walking in the Great Commission. The words that Jesus said finally before he was to ascend, was to remind us, listen, this is the mission. I've done my part. I'm about to hand the baton over to the Holy Spirit. And he is the comforter, the teacher, the guider. He will lead you into all truth. And it's not for you, or I would say for me as a pastor, to be some truth superstar. No, it's to speak the truth and lead others to the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. And his name is Jesus. And therefore, this great commission, we have become very comfortable in sitting, in experiencing and having church, but not in going. And the enemy has even picked up the nerve where he will come to church, the spirit of the enemy, and have more church than some of the church people. I take this sermon as a, another clarion call by God to go. You know, if we don't go, we don't grow. In the spirit realm, if we don't go, we don't reproduce as a church. And so, therefore, it is incumbent upon us that we understand that we have been empowered to do the mission the Holy Spirit will not fail us. And the one thing we ought not do is lean to our own understanding. We think we cannot. Yes, we can because God told us that we can. And anytime we say, I don't know if I can do that, that's, that's you or me leaning on our limited understanding, not understanding this, that the great understander or the great teacher, the Holy Spirit, will teach you how to do what you don't know what to do. It's an amazing thing. You thought you couldn't teach or preach, you're doing it. Thought you couldn't sing and lead, you're doing it. There is nothing impossible with God. And so when he places the mission before you, it's not whether it can be done. It's, watch this now, it's already been done in the mind of God. So get to it and go for it. Don't leave this earth realm with your works undone. There was a song that would say a part of it, don't let them catch you with your work undone. 
Everyone, that's right, everyone, you are due to give an account to God for what you've done and what you have not done. Because he's placed within every one of us a particular something that we can do. And we can't just sit and say, well, I'm good, I'm being nice, I've made it in. No, no, no. That's not the Great Commission. The Great Commission is to go. And in these days, go, go on the highways. Go on the smooth roads and the bumpy roads. Go on the flooding roads. Go on the roads that are not flood. Just go. You know, we can't say, oh, it's impossible. You, some of you looked at some people. Let me, that's a good way, Maria. Yeah. Some on that day when the roads all flooded, they said, mission impossible. I ain't going to work today. <laughs> But some people took three hours to get to work because they said, I'm going to get to work. So really, even though it looked like many had an excuse, I'll tell you what, some people said, what, stay home, look out for my own children, to work I go. Right. There was a reason. Here's my point. In our humanity, when we want to do what we want to do for ourselves, we will do it. But let's take it now up to the kingdom and say, God... Who have you given me to win to the kingdom? That's being a disciple. We're not going to meet each other. We're here. So we're going out there. Allow God to speak to you concerning one person and target that person 100%, 100% until you see them as a regular at Shekinah Worship Center. It's possible. You write that name down. Put it somewhere in your home that you cross frequently and you see their name and by God's spirit, you say, God, make a way. Give me the words to say because we are out to fulfill the great commission. That's why I tell you, every time I go to my Walmart, Linda's, I know the, the by now, all the baggage, um, the packers, they know we're going to get a story. It's going to be a, a com conversation with, with this woman. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. We never know who we're going to impact. So let's break out of the box of self-reliance uh, and let's go and fulfill that what we or many look at. I can, I don't know. What? Mission Impossible. What? No, not even a fern involved. The word of God is still living. It's still here. Let's go for it. And he, God will deal with you uniquely. Uh, I'm getting some reports on different things happening. I'm like, wow, I could have never done that. But, God, you've done it through one of your servants. And so let's esteem and encourage each other. When we see each other, Shekinah, at some point we should say, how's it going? How's the Great Commission going? Right? That keeps you at a certain level. Because if it's about, well, how's it going with the children? How's it going with the family? How's it going with the job? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. How's the Great Commission going? I'm getting there. I'm going to get it done. Go up in my strength. Amen. Who's a witness with me that this is the way? Amen. Put those hands together then. Let's give God praise. I'm going to get some hand claps around here. I'm sneaking them right now. That's mission impossible. Just got done. Amen. Thank you again, Deaconess Erlene De Silva. Thank you for your spirit, your smile. And I'm telling you, we've got some winners here. Let's now go and win them out there. Somebody needs Shekinah Worship Center. I would think so. No place finer than Shekinah. We are the pearl of a church in the middle of the Atlantic. I personally think we've been blessed to have the best church. Not the, I'm the pastor. I'd rather think that. Yes, I do. So in that way, let's bring them in. Amen. Thank you again, everyone. God bless you for your obedience and your attendance. And I know that you've gleaned something tonight. And it's always better and preferred if possible, that we are physically together. The enemy tried to take this out, but we've taken it back, and we're going to keep on moving forward. Amen? Amen? Amen. All right there, with that in mind, let's receive our Deacon Earl Trot. Amen. As he closes us out with the confessional benediction. Here he is. Amen. Let's give out the trot. I tell you, we're just clapping for everybody. Amen. Let us say our benediction. We depart to a life of consistent prayer. We depart to meditate on and study the word of God. 
We depart to obey the word of God in our daily lives. We depart to share our testimonies and win souls. We depart to reign in life as kings and priests of the Lord Jesus Christ. We depart to conquer evil and show forth the love of God in a dying world. Jude 24, 25. Now I want to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Have a beautiful week, everyone.